What's going on guys? Today I just wanted to make a quick video explaining how you can add email pop-ups onto your Shopify store or pretty much whatever e-commerce store you have. So it's pretty simple. I just created a 14-day free trial store. In the description below, I'm going to include a link to a 14-day free trial with Shopify so you can just click on that link and you'll be able to start your own 14-day free trial. You're going to go into the App Store and you're going to download an app called Privy. So it's going to be on the front of the Shopify app store. So Privy right here. And you can also just search if you're not able to find it on the front of your app store there. So we're going to download Privy. Um, it's pretty simple. So once we have this downloaded, um, just to explain real quick what it does, it's going to help you to collect anyone who visits uh, whether they're a customer or whether they're not a customer, you're, it's going to help you to collect their email and be able to market to them later on. Um, so if it's someone who goes onto your website, for example, and then they decide to leave, um, before they exit out, an email pop-up will show up and give them an option to give their email where you'll be able to give them, um, for example, 10-15% discount or free shipping, anything like that. So be, be able to help you to um, retarget them, be able to, to market to them over again. Um, so first we're just going to click here on this ad. So we're going to design this. So first we're going to go ahead and edit this. Um, so you can choose how you want it to appear. Um, so we click here to create. Um, so once you go in, it'll give you a bunch of options. This is the default of how it's going to show up. Um, you can get the blank pop-up, uh, blank canvas full screen but I personally choose the white exit intent um, so this is for people who are gonna in, they intend to leave so um, if their arrow for example starts to hover up towards while well, I'm on Mac so if it starts to hover up to the red X here or if you're on Windows if it hovers over here and you're gonna be leaving I guess the whole Mac thing doesn't matter it's just uh, my browser I'm using Google Chrome um, so over here, if they're deciding to go and exit out over here, um, then this pop-up will show up. Um, so I'm going to use this one here. I'm going to choose a selected. And then I'm going to start editing this campaign. So your current pop-up will be overridden. Are you sure you want to continue? Yep. So replace that. Um, so this is how it will actually appear. Um, so I'm going to save this. And I'm going to show you guys how you'll be able to get to this. So we're going to be mostly here in design. Um, so there's going to be a few things that we're not going to be able to do today just because I'm only on the free 14-day Shopify trial. Um, so for example, after sign-up action here, I click to edit, it's not going to let me. Um, it says, redirect after sign-up is not available on your current plan, upgrade and unlock. So pretty much it's telling me that I have to pay um, to be able to start with Shopify, I have to pay the, the monthly um, fee to be able to get this unlocked. Because this app is free, um, so don't worry about paying this. But if you want to get all the features, you're going to have to be paying for your Shopify membership to be able to get all the features here. Um, but even if you're doing the 14-day free trial, you'll be able to use, um, I mean, about 90% of what you need this for, so don't worry about that. Um, so I'm just going to cancel there. Um, but yeah, pretty much, first thing we're going to do is go on and look at the design. So you just click to edit. So pretty much it's self-explanatory. You can go through, um, click on any of these boxes, whatever it is you decide you want to edit. Um, so, for example, you know, wait, uh, I think, you know, I want it to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to stretch it out and maybe make it a font size 20. I'm sorry, font size 72. So I decided that looks a little bit better. Um, then I go on here, maybe I don't like the what it says there. So I'm going to go ahead and change this. Um, I'm going to say um, enter your email below to receive and then I'll put Uh, 15% off, for example. Okay. So that's just an example. So I'll go on. I don't want any of this here, so I'll delete that. 
Um, another thing, so this little brand here, Privy Brand, um, if you want to delete that, once again, you're going to have to actually be paying for your Shopify membership. Um, but if you really don't care about that, then it's not a big deal. That'll just continue to show up then until you pay for that. Um, so just going back. Um, yes, yeah, so, I mean, if you want to go ahead and change the rounding on the corners of the little sign up button there, or you can even change the colors. So maybe you want to go along with uh, your website design. So maybe your colors are um, a little bit different. You can find the colors to be able to match there. Um, but it really is pretty simple. Um, so for example, in this case, it's just uh, pretty simple. So this is what's going to pop up if someone decides or intends to leave. So in my browser with Chrome, with Chrome, Google Chrome, excuse me, if I'm going up here and I'm close to being able to going to exit off of the tab here, this pop up will show up on a Shopify store and say, "Wait, if I if you enter your email here, you'll receive a code to get 15% off your order." Um, so I go in, I enter in my email address, click sign up, and then a uh, code's going to appear. Um, so we're going to go ahead and save the changes here. But now we're going to be able to show you um, how this is going to be triggered. Um, so automatically it's going to have it set right now to show on exit intent. Um, it may appear with show on timer. Um, you can set it if you want to appear after they've been on the site for 3 seconds, 5, 10, 15, 30. Or sometimes after you've scrolled through the page, like 25%, uh, 50, 75. Um, so you can have that set. Personally, I unclick those. I just have it set to show on exit intent and then to have it trigger automatically at most every day and sometimes I mean if you really want you can set it um, it used to have an option for 12 hours yeah 12 hours um, so either every day or every 12 hours just kinda of depending on what you want to do and then save the changes there and then also you want to change the tab design here um, so it has it set at no tab but for whatever reason if it does have a tab you'll click on here to edit um, it doesn't have any tab but sometimes a tab will show up like this little tab here. Um, really you don't want that though, it just kind of makes your store look a little tacky. Um, so, well for this example we'll say that it does have a tab. Um, so pretty simple, you can just go and delete the tab just like that. Um, so that's really not that hard. Um, but then yeah, so we set it up for that if they enter their email they're going to get a 15% off code. Um, so we're going to go down here to the thank you page which is what's going to show up after they put in their email. Um, so this is what it's going to look like after they put in their email. So you see there's a little bit of confetti, this little box appears. Um, so we can go in and change this um, specifically. So for example, we're going to put... Uh, go ahead and delete all this. And um, we'll put enter the code below. At checkout. Should make this look a little bit better. Center that. And this is the actual coupon code. So you can make whatever code you want. Just for the example, I'm putting 15% as the code. Then I'm going to delete this, delete this. And I want to make this a little bit bigger, actually, so it actually seems like it is something. Maybe 30. Maybe do a little bit bigger. So, oh my gosh, I select that. So do it, maybe that's 40. Um, and then, I mean, if you really want to get into all this, you can start going in and controlling how much confetti actually appears um, in the background. So, I mean, if you want to put more confetti like that, or less confetti like that, control the colors. You can control the rounding on the actual box, the border width on the box, so if you want more border. Um, obviously, you guys can just mess around with this and see whatever you like. Um, but I usually do something kind of like this. Um, but the important part now 
you got to save, and that we actually have to create uh, a coupon because there's no coupon code set up right now. Um, so click on the coupon code right here and click add a new coupon and just give it a title. Um, for this one, we're doing 15% off. Um, down here, the code is exactly what we typed in there, it'll be 15%, and that's going to be the percentage. So switch that to percentage, type 15 off there. And it, reply, it applies to all products, and it doesn't require minimum purchase. Um, we don't want it to expire. If you do want to have an expiration date, obviously you can choose. Um, but for this example, we're not going to have an expiration date. But then we go ahead. And save that coupon. Once we have that saved, then we'll actually be able to go in. And do that. So that's all set up now. So now whenever anyone goes in and they actually use this 15% code, it'll actually apply to their order because we have it set up through the app. Um, so it's pretty simple. Um, but yeah, so obviously it's pretty simple for you guys to go through and do this. Um, one more thing I just wanted to remind you guys is that in the description of the YouTube video down below, um, there's going to be a link for your 14-day free trial. Um, so that link will just take you, obviously, to enter an email. You can create your own store to mess around and practice with this app. Um, so go ahead and click on that. Um, thanks for watching, you guys. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Um, give it a thumbs up if you guys thought the video was good. Um, anything I can do to improve, just let me know in the comments. And thanks so much.